hey what is going on youtube hackership plus seven here so if you're trying to access generative fill from photoshop beta and you're not seeing the option this video will provide you with the perfect example of how to get that option available for your photoshop now let's learn photoshop real quick and i'm going to show you that well the option is currently there for me but if you don't have the option i'm going to show you how to get the option so let's wait for that to load and if we should select anything here, highlight, we have the generative fill option, which we could use. Let's go back and deselect. Now, what you'd want to do is to go to your creative cloud. So go to the Adobe Creative Cloud application. Let's put that on full screen. All right, so the next step would be to look for the applications that you have installed. So that would be under beta apps. As you can see, Photoshop beta is up to date. Now the version which you're looking for is version 24.6. That is the current version installed. So what you could do is, or if you click on other versions, we could see that 24.6 is installed. So if you don't have 24.6, what I recommend you to do is to uninstall the current version which you have. You could choose to keep your settings. I'm going to keep my settings and uninstall the application all right so photoshop beta has been uninstalled now the next thing you'd need to look for on the left pane is updates now we're all up to date so let's check for updates and this will what this will do is currently check for the latest version of photoshop photoshop beta and all other adobe applications so give this a few minutes to to load now once it is finished you could go back to beta apps and begin to install Photoshop beta. You could also click on the three dots, other versions, and you would see that the latest version is 24.6. Now that is the version with the generative fill, and that is the one that you'd want to install. So let's click on install and give that a few minutes to, to load. It all depends on how fast your internet connection is. Now, once the installation has completed, you could go ahead and open Photoshop beta. It is currently adding the remove tool, but let's go ahead and open and see what happens. So it's right where we left off. We could go ahead and create a new file. Let's just do a random file and let's generate a bird here. And that is how you would be able to have access to Photoshop Generative Fill if you aren't seeing it in your Photoshop beta option. And I have a video in which I'll show you how to access Photoshop beta. You could check it out on my channel. So thank you for watching. Hope this video was helpful. Hacker 7 out.